Hearts were at Rugby Park yesterday looking to extend a three-match unbeaten run which had hauled them up into the top six. Kilmarnock have top half aspirations as well. The best of the action with Liam McLeod. Kilmarnock taking on the other half of the capital having drawn here against Tabernian at the weekend. Hearts no doubt buoyed for that victory over Dundee United and they're on the attack here with Stevenson. Bell can hold on. Well, Michael Nelson was fouled as well, according to referee Stephen McLean. So it will be a free kick to Kilmarnock. Took a wicked deflection there. McCarty. Driver. That's good from Driver. Brilliant from Driver. Just didn't have the finish. That was more like vintage Andrew Driver. Away from James Fowler, away from Nelson, and off target. James Dayton. Always a menace. And he's won his team a penalty. Well, it's a terrible challenge from Andy Webster. And not often you can say that about him. Liam Kelly who's been deadly from the spot this season, continues to be. Back in the side, free of suspension, and back on the score sheet. Driver. Plenty of options in Maroon in the middle. That was a really good opportunity as well. John Sutton was at the back post. And Driver digging it out for a second time. Sissoko was there. Make it a third opportunity here, Driver. He has done. Corner only. And it was John Sutton who met this. That's a good opportunity. Driver again. He's seen plenty of the ball in this game. And Sutton poked away by Sissoko. There's a wee shout for a penalty here for Hearts. And it come off the arm of Sissoko. Mehdi Tawul, former Kilmarnock player, of course. Driver. He fancy this himself here. Bell's equal to it. He's having another good season, Cami Bell, and that's another good save. Zoyukas. Well, that effort came from Smith. Well, they had John Sutton waiting, and Cammy Bell's taking a really sore one. He was committed to at least trying to win the ball back. John Sutton goes into the book. Bell's going to be okay, thankfully. Hearts will feel aggrieved to be behind in this game. They put plenty into it and are continuing to do so here with Ryan McGowan. Away by Nelson. Towel! Bell again. And the danger snuffed out. It was the little Moroccan on the left peg. Kenny Shields in the stand. It's well documented. And on the phone as well. Jimmy Nicholl in the four picture there just urging his troops on. Kilmarnock continuing to hold their lead, but they've got a problem here. They've got a big problem here. It's Callum Patterson in on goal, and that is an anti-climax. Bit of afters as well between Fowler and Patterson. But what an opportunity this was. Good play to get away from Nelson, having robbed Sissoko. He needed to go round the goalkeeper, and he didn't. That's poor from Zoyukas. Down goes Paul Heffernan. It is a free kick, and is Zoyukas off here. Stephen McLean pulling him over. Yellow only, and presumably that's because Jamie McDonald had dealt with the situation. Kenny, lots of supporters of lots of teams will be dreading the transfer window in a way and wondering which of their stars will be departing. Maybe Hearts more than most, because Hearts probably need the money more than most. Yeah, well, you see, you see Andy Driver playing there. He's 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 a player who's been getting linked with speculation over the last two, three years, and 
he's, uh, he's had a fantastic game there. He's, he's had shots at goal, he's had crosses and things. So I'm sure uh, January 31st can't come quick enough. Talk of Liam Kelly at Kilmarnock uh, as a fancied player, Billy, as well. Try to sell a few in this programme, aren't we? <laughs> um, but we, we have got good talent in this country, and that's why they're getting spoken about. But uh, the more that stays, it's, it's better for Scottish football. But these players you're talking about, Rob, they're showing it. You know, Murphy, Kelly, players like that. Um, he scores a penalty, takes it well. He's had a lot going on in his life over the last year. But uh, certainly a good player and a good, a good player to have in your team. Your Scotland teammate, Andy Webster, uh, won't be too happy looking back on this, Kenny. Yeah, I'm sure it's a position Big Webb will not like to be in. We're, we're a tricky winger running at him into the box. I'm, he'd much prefer being the middle heading it away, I'm sure. But obviously there, I mean, it's a, it's a great bit of footwork for, for, for dating in the way there. And Big Andy hung up a leg there. And it's a stonewall penalty. Dispatched very well, William Kelly. But that's the position James Dayton puts you in, isn't it? The way he plays. And it, the, are you surprised he doesn't start more for Kilmarnock, Billy? Uh, uh, yeah, I've been speaking about it to a few people. I think I've, every time I've watched him, but Kenny Shields knows him better than anybody. He needs to be more consistent. Sometimes you get that with wingers. But James Dayton, on form, every game I've seen him has caused teams problems. So uh, I don't know why he doesn't get a more regular start. Hearts defensively are probably as strong as most with Webster and Zaliukas in, in central defence, but they struggle to get goals. That, that, that seems to be a recurring problem. I think nobody's scored more than four for them uh, halfway through the season. Well, that is a problem. It's, it's going to be a problem for any team, actually. I, I watched them a few weeks back against Hibs, and, and, the, and it was getting talked about that day as well, that they're lacking goals. And, and it's sometimes it's not, for the, it's not for the amount of chances that are created. It just seems to be it does, they've not got a player regularly finding the back of the net. And, it's that, and that is a problem. A couple of saves you'd expect Cammy Bell to make, to be honest. Um, Callum Patterson should have tucked this one away. Yeah, 22 yards he hits it. Um, the one thing about him, I'm going to say inexperienced, maybe rushed it, but I think um, somebody with pace, and Kenny had pace, I never, but somebody with pace doesn't think I'm getting caught. I maybe have thought, oh, he's catching me, he's catching me, no reason to, he's got pace, maybe because he's not a natural striker, but I think looking back, the young lad will be looking at it and thinking, why did I hit it so early?